going from plain to insane concept is the theme for today where i'm going to be taking some images basing them layering them and then ultimately producing some concepts um i had a huge amount of fun making this video today so i hope you get value out of it like and subscribe let's get into it So we'll get right into it and uh, we'll start with opening up Mid Journey. For advanced shots and photography and cinematic techniques, make sure to check out my other videos, which gives you the plane to the insane prompts. All right, so let's go into Mid Journey and open up the Discord site. And what we're gonna do is start off with a describe function here. So this is gonna be a follow along video. Um, I've already pre uh, done all these prompts so you can see that it actually works. Um, so in uh, mid journey, all you do is you type in forward slash describe and click on the image that you would like to make. And let's just go to base images and choose the image that you would like as your base. So we can insert the Tesla model Y and click on open and what it will do is it will um, open up a image over here let's just get rid of that all right and what it's going to do is it's actually going to describe the prompt to create an image similar to this so it already knows that it's a tesla um, it's got electric color schemes and it's got an aspect ratio so all good and all well but what we want to do now is take this from concept or from plane to concept and this is what we're going to walk through now all right so the best way to do it is to ultimately drag the image and put it into your imagine command so if we go imagine and drag the image over pop it in and then what we want to do is type in this prompt over here so create a futuristic track car, cinematic race version, beautiful textures, and um, pop in your camera. Uh, the camera has a profound effect. So if you haven't seen one of my other videos, I encourage you to check out either the action shots or the cinematic. Um, you will not be disappointed, trust me. All right, so this is what it basically comes up with. Um, a whole bunch of cool different designs for your run-of-the-mill Tesla. So if you ever wanted to uh, get dad a present or get uh, your partner a present, uh, that's uh, what the uh, mods are that they would want. All right, so all pretty cool. All right, um, what we want to do now is uh, take the same thing and um, again, copy the command in. So forward slash imagine, drag the uh, base image and then create a sci-fi futuristic Batmobile car. And as you can see over here, it's now taken from the light and, light and fluffy and airy to something a bit more sort of... Um, uh, Batmobile inspired if you want to call it that um, so all, all pretty pretty decent I think all right so moving on um, I've just upscaled this uh, image over here because I quite like that one um, I actually quite like the wheels and the wheel design so maybe that's another video how to create some cool wheels um, right so once we've got that um, I wanted to um, jump on something a little bit different which is a, a plane so I, I quite like the p51 mustang from the old world war ii era and um, i'm sure there's a couple of people out there who quite like that um, again forward slash describe and pop in the image that you would like and it'll basically give you the prompt for it so all very nice all right so what i did then was i said all right let's not do anything with that base image but let's see what mid journey could come up with on its own um, so typed in the command p51 mustang concept futuristic wanted some carbon fiber bits and bobs ultra realistic um, again camera really important i wanted natural lighting in the hangar and um, uh, the the regular prompts that i always put on the end um, and as you can see some pretty awesome um, outputs over here and this actually inspired me to have a look at a Mustang car. Also another one of my most favorite vehicles. I was like, wow, that's freaking cool. Um, so we've obviously got a beautiful image of a P51 Mustang inside a hangar. And then we've got a um, pretty slick looking uh, Mustang look on the outside. 
So happy with that. What I then I thought I would do is move on to concepts and look at something that wasn't run of the mill. So no real base image. I didn't want um, anything to sort of distort the view of what my journey could actually create for us. So what I did was I created a concept for a Vogue-ish concept heavy duty truck called the Edward. All right, um, uh, it just likes names. Um, popped in a couple of elements that I quite enjoy whenever I think of anything conceptual. Uh, so you could have things like LEDs or liquid metal or graphite or um, uh, anything that's sort of technology sort of focus. You can pop in those prompts over here as well. Um, so this is what I came out to and um, a little bit too voguish for me. Um, so voguish is actually a term that basically is inspired by Vogue magazine um, and looks to sort of conceptualize um, some very spiffy things. So that looks uh, pretty funky. I'm not so sure about this bulbous one over here, but that's okay. I quite like the silver truck. All right, so that looks great. And um, what I wanted to do over here was um, just upscale it. All right, so we can now have a look at that upscaled image and you can see some pretty decent details over here. I like the gold and the trim um, and it's a pretty decent looking uh, uh, truck if you ask me. All right, um, so what I did then was I took this image and then I started to layer it up. Okay, so this is where layering comes in. So you've created your base image and you quite like it. You then take that and then you start um, layering it up. You're saying, all right, cool. Well, I didn't like those previous translucent pinky purpley ones. I quite like this type of design. So instead of saying, um, create variations, you can actually just start using it as a base and as a seed um, that will ultimately allow you to um, create some better images or different images. Um, and as you can see, some pretty remarkable results over here. I mean, I'd love to see trucks like this on the road one day. Um, it just looks so cool. Um, anyway, so we'll move on. All right, uh, so just upscaled that one and because uh, I quite liked it. All right. Um, I wanted to show you something as well around the video creation. So um, if you add the, t add the um, negative, negative video to mid journey, what it'll do now is it'll actually create a, a little MP4 uh, version of how it created these images. And it actually looks quite cool. So the way you would do it is pop in your command, make sure you put minus minus video at the end. And then what you do, is you click on more, you add a reaction, add an envelope. And I've already got an envelope over here, so that's all great. And what it'll do is it'll send a message to your bot. So you can click on your direct messages over here. And here is the actual video. So you can take this and you can do what you like with it. Um, I don't think it plays over here, but I, I, I found it played better in this. Um, let's just go back and open it up in a new tab. So copy it. So quite a nifty little feature, I thought, just to have a bit of fun with some moving images. So let's paste that in and see what it does. And as you can see, it's now created a little cinematic of how it created those images. And it can only do all four at once. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some um, tweaks and enhancements to create videos on just your uh, one image. All right, so that's all pretty good. I just wanted to show you that. This is a bit of a value add because um, I thought that was quite a nice little feature and function that happened. All right, so let's go back to our bot. And uh, here we are. So again, P51 Mustang. Uh, carbon fiber, ultra realistic, and again, camera type made quite a big difference. All right, so these are pretty slick looking um, uh, P51s, and I'm, I'm probably going to print out a poster or two for my son's bedroom. He's quite fanatical about it as well. Um, so that's all great. All right, so what we're going to look at now is I've just upscaled this one over here, so that's quite simple. All right, add in a bit of a layer. So what we're going to try and do is add some cinematic glory to our base truck. All right, so I won't go into that boot just yet because that's not what I want to do. All right, so let's go and grab our 
base truck. All right. And now let's add in something which is going to give it a bit more pep. All right. So what we've got over here is a couple of commands that I like to do. Again, if you haven't seen my cinematic or my action shot videos, um, have a look at those just to get a bit more of a feel for why I've done these certain things. All right, so cinematic, action scene, futuristic naval base with burning planes, choose your director, and um, let's hit the enter command. Ignore the boot for now, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so what you can see uh, here is it's created something pretty funky. All right, so it's a man inside there, but I think what we're going to do is probably look at this one over here. So again, layering it up, you're basically taking your base image and you're layering it up with a burning cinematic with a man standing in front of it. And uh, yeah, the image has changed ever so slightly, but I think again, just sort of trying to take your base and add extra elements to it. And that's the whole idea behind uh, layering it up. Um, these are quite funky, actually. These are quite, kind of weird, like it's a man actually inside a truck so it could be a transformer right um yeah pretty interesting let's look at um creating some funkier type of cars and um i'll show you how you do that so you go forward slash imagine and then the prompt and um yep so this is just a sleek futuristic concept and um, i think the key here is obviously futuristic and concept um, or anything to do with concept um, will will hopefully render the right result for you but again you have to play around with it all right so as you can see over here it's created a pretty futuristic looking concept electric vehicle and man i hope we get these one day and i hope i can afford one um but again pretty pretty special i mean look look at the scoops um so it's actually taken some good elements and some good design uh, philosophies on um, sport cars and incorporated it into this futuristic look um so again pretty pretty pin pin up type of material here which i think is quite fantastic all right so having a something that could be your next uh, Batmobile. So let's have a look at what a Batmobile would be. So let's do an imagine prompt again. So Batmobile concept, aggressive design, and I want some cinematic lighting. So let's give that a punch and see what that comes out with. All right, so as you can see over here, it has taken um, its own thoughts and its own brain, and it is uh, coming up with a pretty slick looking Batmobile. Um, Practical, probably not, but pretty mean looking anyway. Um, I quite like the one with the orange lights over here. Um, and I think this one looks like it could be quite a weapon in, uh, in old Gotham. Um, all right, so that's all good. And uh, I hope you find some pleasure in playing with that kind of stuff. All right, so now I think what I wanted to show you was let's forget about concept cars and planes and bikes and boats and stuff like that, because I think that's uh, all good and well. I wanted to try something with a um, with a shoe. So I wear shoes that look very similar to shoe. All right, so I wear these kinds of shoes all the time. All right, so uh, don't judge me. This is what I wear, and uh, hit enter. And what it's going to do is obviously going to try and describe this shoe for us now. All right, so there's the there's my shoe, and um, it looks great. Okay, so what we've got here is a uh, shoe. And um, let's try and see if we can make it a bit more funky. And um, oh, I don't know where to describe it again. We've already described it. So let's go imagine and let's drag this, include the shoe itself. And then let's have a look at for a prompt that we can try. And let's do this. So you put your image that you want to uh, pop in and then ultimately add in your um, next elements. Um, I'm going to show you what the different scenario is going to look like here if you use different cameras and different types of um, elements. So let's just give a quick squiz. All right, so as you can see, it's added the translucent holographic effects and um, it still looks like a shoe, um, obviously a little bit more uh, zazzy if you want to call it a word. All right, so let's do a similar thing, but I want to make it like super cool. Like I don't want to wear those shoes. I think uh, um, 
I think I want something a bit more funky than that. So let's go and add concept and futuristic to it. So let's go. So concept, futuristic, carbon fiber, ultra realistic, and pop in a camera. Um, so Canon EOS is great for sort of um, fashion items. The um, Haberblad as well is also pretty good. So you can play around with the different types of cameras. So let's give that a punch. Right, so as you can see here, it's created some uh, bit more sort of details and a bit more sort of uh, futuristic type of elements. I quite like this one up here with the buckle over the boot. So if in case I want to kick a soccer ball or something like that, that would be great. So it's got a nice r rubber tip. Um, and again, these are pretty slick looking. I think these would actually fit and fetch quite well in the uh, in the industry. But anyway, so I'm not a fashion expert by any means. So that looks pretty cool. Um, let's try something a little bit different. So as you can see, the name of the product is called the Duke, and uh, that's exactly what I asked it for. And um, this looks like a pretty slick looking jacket. Um, it's a male model, and um, it's got some cool elements on it. So I think, um, I'm not sure what that is, but it's got the carbon fiber sort of look and feel to it. So maybe sort of futuristic fighters, I think would be quite good. Um, but yeah, so, so have a look over here at the detail of um, these images and elements. Um, so yeah, so basically there's a whole bunch and a whole range of different things that you could punch into the system uh, to give you different um, concepts. So have a, have a think about what you like. Um, I quite like planes, bikes, cars, horses, running, running horses, all these types of things. Um, and again, just play around with it. So what, what would a futuristic um, element look like? You could even do household appliances, like a kettle. Um, let's pop in a kettle over here. Let's just see what a kettle looks like. Um, so I'll use a similar prompt. So go for it as you imagine. And a kettle called the Duke Futuristic and let's pop that in. Right, so here's a pretty cool uh, looking kettle. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's definitely added some elements of uh, style. I think these would look pretty decent on my counter. Um, be out of place with everything, but yeah, not not bad. Um, again, I quite like the gold um, and the Vogue-ish elements of it because I think the Vogue just likes that sort of deep gold um, it just sort of brings out that uh, color gradient. Um, so this over here is also quite a nice one. And um, yeah, so those are all pretty decent. So maybe you can even send it off and uh, get somebody to make it for you. Who knows? You, you heard it here first. Um, and I think that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you got a lot of value out of this.